Ja, mein Name ist Christian Matölke. I'm responsible project manager here for Safegate, uh, for this um, project in Lahore. I with Safegate together since four years now. Um, I've started in the German office and I shift over to the Dubai office. Well, I think we should ask permission. Imran is a project manager from IC, so we worked very close to together. Um, there was everyday coordination. Sometimes we were a little bit angry on each other, like like a couple, yeah. So you have good times, you have bad times, yeah. But I would say the good times were, were more. The biggest obstacle was the time, I think. The time was not on our side. That actually made things very complicated. And then coupled up with the operational runway, we, know, we knew that we had to ensure safety at all costs. That was the big challenge. Nobody in the project have ever said this is not possible. Maybe they, they, somebody mentioned, okay, this is complicated or this is a challenge. But uh, it was never uh, an optional answer saying, no, this is not possible, we can't do it. So we have installed new runway centerline lights, which were completely new. This were, these lights were not existing before. And we have replaced old lights, which were before halogen and which are now LED. Yeah, the digging, I mean, it's also the same. It's, uh, it's a little bit copy and paste what we have done on the runway. So um, we have to install a new primary cable as well. So um, you see besides the taxiway, you see trenching works where we have to install new primary cables. This primary cable will be connected then with transformers and these transformers will be connected then in the end with the, with the lights which we install on the, on the, on the taxiways. My name is Sofia Sorensen and I work for the global supply chain here in Sweden. I'm working closely with our suppliers to order all the material that is needed and also to be in continuous contact with um, the project manager, Christian in this case, and also uh, Veronica in Dubai. I was first introduced last summer. Uh, Christian came here, we had a meeting with him. He explained a little bit more about the project. Uh, he also informed us about the planned shipping schedule so what material is needed when, uh, basically. Um, and I think that this first meeting has been very important for our future cooperation because uh, after that, we have been in contact every week, uh, almost uh, on phone or email, and we have discussed and planned for next week's shipment. It's not that simple to ship everything to uh, Lahore. So instead of arranging transportation from all around the world, we decided that it was easiest to take everything from, from Malmo. Uh, and it's a way for us to keep control of the, f the full process. When, when the people don't know why they have to deliver fast and why you writing them every week an email saying, okay, is it ready to ship? Is it still ready to ship? Then they just think, why he's asking all the time? Why he's putting so much pressure on me? But when you have explained them in the beginning, say, look, look there's a reason behind and it's not just to bother you, um, then they understand and then they, they, they support you and then it worked out. There's about 80 people working on site in Lahore. And then there's the supply team here in Sweden. And then we have the safe performance team and we have a few colleagues in, in Denmark and, and also people in Austria who has been working on this project. So I think in total about 100 people have been involved. Yeah, in the beginning, nobody could believe that you can do at least the first milestone, which uh, contains the upgrade of the runway to Katsribi together with the ILS, that you can achieve this in, in, in uh, five, six months. At least everybody was a little bit like, oh, let's see, uh, we can't believe it. I mean, in the end, it, it, it worked, so we did it. Um, and this was only possible because we worked all together. <laughs> <laughs>